This is actually really amazing. If you're looking to create morphing videos just like these ones, let me show you exactly how to do it. All you need to do is go over to crea.ai. With this AI tool, you can create your images in real time in the canvas. Secondly, you can enhance the videos that you've generated. And third, you can generate your videos as well. At the very top, click on sign up and you'll be able to use your Google account or any other email address that you have to gain access. Now click on start and the video generation page will open. So this is the video generation page and here is the generate button. Next, we have the settings and from the settings, you can choose the aspect ratio that you want from landscape to square and then to portrait. Next, you can go ahead and choose the motion intensity. So the higher the intensity, the more the elements in your videos are going to move. The opposite is obviously true. Now in the loop video feature, you can choose to either put it on or off depending on whether you want your video to loop or not. Next, we have the styles and we have the film style. Next, we have the render. We also have the animation style and the experimental style. Below the generate button, we have the upscale button and you can use this to upscale your videos. On this side, you can choose the length of your clip. So you can choose between one second to 10 seconds. If you need a longer video, I'll show you how to do it. Now, here is the keyframe area and here is the prompt area. If you want to delete any of your images in the keyframe area, all you need to do is go to the image and click on the delete button. So if you want to delete a prompt in the prompt area, all you need to do is do the same. Just go over to the specific prompt and click on the delete button. You can also drag an image in the keyframe area and you can place it exactly where you want, just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start uploading my images and all I have to do now is just click on the add image and I can go ahead and generate an image over here right on the platform. But in this case, I'm going to add my own images. So I'm going to upload an image from my computer. Once the image is uploaded, I'm going to input a prompt. Now the prompt can describe what is in your image or what you want to see in your video. Either can do. So I'm going to adjust this particular prompt box and I'm going to make sure that it covers the area that I want it to cover. Next, I'm going to input the actual prompt. And like I said, you can input a prompt that explains what is in the image or what you want to see in your video. So I'm just going to input the prompt. Once that is done, I can go ahead and start adding more images in the keyframe area. Now I'm going to add another image. So I'm going to choose a different image from my computer. So let me go ahead and just choose this one. And once it's uploaded, I can go ahead and fit it exactly where I want it. And next I'm going to add a prompt as well. So I'm going to repeat this process until I've added all the images and I've input all the prompts as expected. Next, I'll go over to the settings and make sure I have all the settings exactly the way I want them. And then I'm going to choose a style. And after that, I'll just go ahead and hit generate. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward this part so that the video is not so long. Now I'm just going to go ahead and download the video that has been generated. So here we have our video. As you can see, this is very, very nice. Like the morphing effect is so good. Now let's go ahead and generate a different style of video using the same images. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll go over to the settings and I'm going to change the settings to make sure they are exactly the way I want. So I'm going to uncheck this loop button. Next, I'm going to choose the animation style. And once that is done, the next thing that I need to do is just change some of these images. So I'm going to delete some of the images as well as some of the prompts and I'm going to input different images. So let me just go ahead and do that. And I'm going to fast forward this part. So I'm going to input all the images that I want and I'm going to input the appropriate prompts as well. Next, I'll hit generate. So once you see a preview of your video and you do not like it, you can always click over here to cancel the video. So I'm just going to let this generate to completion. And now our video is ready. So I'm just going to download this so that we can view it on a bigger screen. So again, I'll just go ahead and hit the download button. 
now so here is our video and as you can see the transitions between the images are so well done they are so so beautiful like the video is just beautiful now let's go ahead and try a different style so we are going to try the film style and for this i'm going to upload different images from the ones that we've been using so the process is the same so i'm going to fast forward this part next i'm going to choose the settings that i want and once that is done all you need to do now is go over to the generate button and just hit generate our video generation process has started and i'm just going to give this a few minutes as well so the preview of the video is ready and remember at this point if you do not like the kind of results that you're getting for your video you can always go over to the generate button and all you have to do is click on it and it's going to cancel the video generation process so i'm just going to let this generate to completion and now i'm going to download it so here is our final video and as you can see the morphing is really good like this is a really really good video now let's go ahead and generate a video using the final style that is render and i'm just going to click on generate and generate using the same images and the same settings the video is ready as well so i'm just going to go ahead and download this so here is the final result and as you can see it's just as good it's just that the style is different but the video quality and the morphing is actually really good now if you want to generate a video that is longer than 10 seconds all you have to do is use the last image in the keyframe as the first image in the next video in this case for instance i'm just going to delete all the images that are before the last image once i delete all the preceding images i'm going to drag the last image to be the first image in the keyframe just like this so once that has been done i'm going to delete all these prompts as well so i'm going to drag out the appropriate prompts and i'm going to just fit them nicely in the prompt area so i want to delete this one as well so i'll just go ahead and fit this one since it's applicable in the next images that i want to upload so i'm going to upload new images now and i'm going to fill the area just like this so let me go ahead and input a new prompt in this prompt box and once that is done i'm just going to drag it out since it's applicable for all the images now I'm going to choose the duration of my clip and next I'm going to choose the settings that I want. I'll just go ahead and adjust this motion strength button and I'm also going to uncheck the loop button. And once all that has been done, now all I need to do is go ahead and hit the generate button. Let me fast forward this part to the part where the video is ready and now I'm going to hit the download button so that you can see the final video. So here we have our video. As you can see now this is the part that we had generated earlier on and here is the second part that i just generated and as you can see the integration is just so beautiful so go ahead and try Crea ai let me know what you think if you have any question don't hesitate to put it in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye